It's time to put your health in your own hands. Get ready to learn from today's top health and wellness innovators and thought leaders on Optimal Health Radio. Now, here's your host. This information is not intended to provide diagnosis, treatment, or medical advice. Products, services, information, and other content provided in this broadcast, including information that may be provided in this broadcast directly or by linking to third-party websites, are provided for informational purposes only. Please consult with a physician or other healthcare professional regarding any medical or health-related diagnosis or treatment options. Hi, this is Tammy Panzer, and I'm really excited to introduce today's guest, Eileen C. Lee. Eileen has had a successful professional career for a leading business process services company in the corporate legal department. Her life has been characterized by a keen interest in spirituality and an in-depth study of alternative medicine. In 2011, Eileen's life transformed when she met Guruji Mahendra Kumar Trivedi, founder of the Trivedi Effect and Trivedi Global Incorporated. It was a turning point for Eileen, and she became a member of the Trivedi Healers Mastery Program. With Guruji Trivedi's guidance, Eileen discovered and developed her innate energy healing abilities. Through her association with Guruji Trivedi, she was given the unprecedented opportunity to test and validate her biofield energy healing capabilities in the area of science. Her evidence-based impacts overall health, well-being, and quality of life, and it's now been published in peer-reviewed journals. Welcome, Eileen. Thank you, Tammy, for having me. So today, I'd really like to talk to you about a subject that many, many people are, let's say, I don't really want to say suffering from, yet it does cause suffering, and that is anxiety. Can you give me kind of a broader scope of what anxiety is and how it affects people around the world? Anxiety is when you are worried. Anxiety, I can give it by examples. Anxiety can be when you are worried about a problem going on in your life, um, a problem going on in uh, with your work, a personal problem. Maybe you have a problem, if you're a parent, you have a problem with a child and are worrying about it. Uh, maybe if you have marital problem, you're worried about your marriage, your marriage and what's going on in your marriage. A lot of people really suffer about it, and I think a lot of people really don't realize they have it. And if you have, and when you have anxiety and it's really affecting your day-to-day life, um, you 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 usually end up having an anxiety anxiety or disorder. So for some people, that anxiety, like you mentioned, a lot of it has to do with worrying. So worrying about, like you said, family issues, work issues, life issues, and then of course the the fear issues. Anxiety seems to stem a lot from worried about, well, the what ifs of life. Well, what if this happens? Things that aren't even real, you know, they're not even problems, but yet you're worried about them. So what are some of the um, big issues surrounding anxiety in terms of as a disorder? um, I take it, it becomes a disorder once it's something that, that is um, debilitating so that you're not able to function. And um, is that accurate? And does it create problems in the workplace and in other areas besides just your personal life? It can. If you're worried about your job and you have, you constantly worry about it, that's going to have an effect to me on your performance and your production and also your performance in your work. 
um, sometimes to the point, I mean, if it really, really affects you with a, a anxiety disorder towards with related to your work, that can, you know, if your supervisor may, it can affect it to the point where your supervisor may notice that. In your performance and how, you know, how you interact with people or just maybe observing some behavior that you have that's not that they, if they know you, if you work for that person for a while, they'll notice that something's not quite right in your behavior, how you act. So does anxiety fall into a mental health issue or is it a physical issue? Um, Do you have any insight into that? Um, it could be a mental health issue. Um, some people are extremely fearful. They can have, some people just have that fear of the future, what's going on in their lives. Um, it can, and that can be, be taken to the extreme where they are just fear, you know, it, can be so de- de- debilitating that it can affect you, them to the point where they just can't function properly, you know, in everyday life. And they call that an anxiety disorder. And it can lead to depression, too. So anxiety seems to be part of many issues that people face today. Because if you have high anxiety and then you said it could lead to depression, and of course, depression has uh, many different issues. So, when in your experience, um, are the, do you have any tips or ways that people can start to look at anxiety and maybe deal with it at, at a common level or an everyday level without resorting to heavy duty medications? Well. One of the things, too, is having the awareness or the consciousness to be able to to identify what it is. Um, I don't know if you are emotionally, mentally and emotionally in that situation, whether you, whether one would be able to identify that. Um, And if it's a real problem for you, it really is really important to go see your doctor, your healthcare um, practitioner to help you with that situation if you're feeling that way. And to, for a person who thinks they, and just have them, a person who has that, that those symptoms, to describe them to their um, healthcare practitioner. And if it's really serious, they can um, they can do testing and find out if there's a physical problem going on with that too. Um, and if it's not a, phys- a problem that's physical, they can refer you to a psycholo- to a, a psychologist or psych uh, or you know psychologist or a psychiatrist to help you with that situation. But you have to be able to identify it first. And some people may may not be able to identify it. So if you're suffering from anxiety, for example, um, I, I know someone who, when they go to the grocery store, for example, um, they get very anxious when there's people in the grocery store or standing in line waiting to check out or, um, you know, that would be, I guess, some type of an anxiety related to human contact or other people judging you or or thinking about, you know, what are you, you doing? So um, typically, if you go see a psychologist or a psychiatrist, um, often they do what, you know, some people would call talk therapy. And then, of course, there's all kinds of medication, depending on what the issue is that is creating the anxiety. And like you said, there, it could either be a mental health issue or it could even be created by um, certain diseases create anxiety that it's actually a symptom of different, um, 
body diseases, you know, that, that make you feel anxious because it's, you know, creating these different issues for you. So you mentioned fear, fear of the future. Um, is mind chatter part of an anxiety issue? I think it could be. If you're, if you have mind chatter and it's, it, it's repeating and saying all these things to you that causes fear, yes, I would think that, that would be part, I would think that would be part of anxiety. So, so is fear the root of anxiety? It could be, yeah, I think it's very definitely, it could be fear. So like you said earlier, fear of the future, the what, the what if thinking, um, in the, around the world is, is anxiety, um, a profound problem for a lot of people. And I mentioned that, so, you know, we've mentioned that you could go to a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a medical provider, they might prescribe talk therapy, they might prescribe, um, medication, um, have you found um, any the Trivedi effect to be useful for anxiety in, in your experience? Yes. From my own personal experience, in um, 2007, I lost my job because I was working at a law firm. And I lost my job because somebody went and lied about me, about something I did. And that, for it was a very, very stressful job. And it was also, when it, that happened, it was also freedom. I felt free from not having to deal with that job, to deal with the, with the day-to-day ins and outs of what happened in that job. And so I had, I was able not to work for about a, I didn't work for, I was felt free for about a year. And in 2008, I started feeling fear of the future. I started, the anxiety started coming in, into my life and fear from the future because, and that was also coincided with the fact that in 2008, the, there was an economic downturn in the U.S. And I start, you know, I was starting to look for a job and a lot of people were getting laid off at that time. So what I ended up doing was um, looking for a job. I did temporary jobs, whatever I could do. And um, also... I had, I actually suffered for probably four years until I met Guruji. I I kept on going around. I was, I studied Reiki with a Reiki, my former, my late Reiki master when I went down to John of God. Um, I was going up to Seattle to, for a Reiki, to study Reiki, to take Reiki classes and advanced Reiki classes. Um, and I also went through, there was a message that came to me where I had to go through, where it said to, to raise your consciousness. And, um, and I was going to a group in Monterey, California, when this message came to me. And I, had a, I have a friend who channels Kuan Yin and has channeled Kuan Yin for many years. And so finally, after that epiphany came to me, my, I discovered, I discovered, and I was reading in my emails about an online webcast um, where Guruji was being in, was there, was being introduced with Fred Poneman. And I listened to the webcast, what he said And the scientific testing of his validation truly intrigued me. And he talks about the cashews, the the control group where they aren't uh, blessed, and then um, the blessed group where they are not, where they are blessed. And the difference 
in the health of the plants and also um and also the the taste and and your physical taste of the cashews were amazing um we some of us have had a chance to buy some of the cashews they're and they are huge and they have such a wonderful taste and i have given them away as presents and i've got some really really amazing and they said oh these are really really good um and with that i started with his um healers i started with his monthly program and then i eventually went into the healers mastery program where i've been there ever since and i have been fortunate to go to india with with the trivedi group um in february of 2000 and 13 and then last year in 2017 in April of 2017 which is just truly amazing. It it's really receiving the blessings have all really calmed me down, calmed down my anxiety um to the point where I have no fear of the future anymore and no anxiety about what happens. Um I have a very very positive outlook. and that that and i'm not as nervous and anxious as i used to be and nervousness is one of the symptoms that come along with anxiety that's that's really interesting that how you talk about that so you say that with the trivedi effect um uh, energy transmissions you feel less anxious you feel calmer So why is that? What is this trivedi effect energy and why would it affect a person like that so that they don't have a fear of the future and that they're less fearful and they're just calmer? So what is the energy that it does that? With the trivedi effect, the blessings that you get from Guruji and Master Gopal master darren and master alice help to connect you to the cre- to the creator as guruji is, uses the term or to god the god of your understanding and the god of understanding once you connect to that and you realize that everything comes from the creator and you really believe in him and you surrender and have them come to your life that's when all the that's when this begins it's a process it doesn't come overnight but it's a process of receiving when you receive more and more of these transi- transmissions that's when you s- start to see the anxiety reduce from your life you're calmer things can happen in in your life like let's say you don't have a job and you you finally end get up have you finally end up landing having a job and that's what happened with me when i started the trivedi effect um i started a temporary job with a corporation in fremont california and then eventually that turned into a permanent job a couple of months later wow that's pretty phenomenal so you are an energy or excuse me you are a scientifically validated energy healer or energy conduit biofield energy um conduit so when you work with people um how do you work with people what i usually do is i send them energy transmissions um and um i've also blessed plants too and um it's usually i do it rem- i basically do it remote i send it remote and i have one f- lady that i have been sending um energy transmissions who lives locally up here in the bay area and she recently had um a cochlear implant um it cochlear implant operation so i have been sending it to her i will and i i hopefully i it has helped her i would as you know i'm thinking it has 
but I need to get, I need, haven't received feedback from her yet. So I will be hoping, I should be hoping to do that in the near future. Well, that would be really phenomenal. So a cochlear implant, that's where they actually do the implant into your head and obviously connect something so that you can hear when previously you might not have had hearing at all. Is that correct? Right. She was, yes, she was considered deaf. Um, the cloak, and I know she was at the point when I saw her a couple of weeks ago that she, they hadn't turned on the implants. So I will be excited and I think I'm going to, I will uh, have to contact her and find out if they've done that yet. Yes, that would, that would be pretty exciting. So um, you have a website and it has the different information on it, such as the science experiments that you've participated in, some testimonials, some frequently asked questions and things like that. So can you tell me what your website address is and the best way for people to reach out and talk to you? You, my website is www.aileen, one middle initial C as in Carol, Lee, L-E-E dot com. Okay, Eileen C. Lee dot com. And of course, you can contact Eileen there. There's a contact form and a phone number, and of course, all the FAQs and everything. So um, what would you say um, for the work that you do? Um, we talked about anxiety, um, that the Trivedi effect, obviously, it helps you get calmer um, because you're connected to the God of your understanding. Um, what other types of issues have people reported that they have um, been successful with? Um, issues. There right. were about 10 of us who, t- who participated in one of our fellow to lady healers, their dog, who had trachea collapse. So there were about 10 of us who were sending energy transmissions to their dog. And pretty much clear, healed the trachea collapse with, of, their do, of their dog, of their pug. And there were 10 of us sending it to him on a daily basis. So I think that it was about after a month or two months that the dog was diagnosed as being healed. So, so this energy also works on pets and of course uh, human beings. So this dog, it had a trachea collapse. Uh, right. And what happened with its trachea over the time when the people were doing the energy healing on it? I don't know that much about trachea collapse, but I would, I, so we sent energy, all of us, uh, I think there were 10 people that participated in it. So we sent energy to this dog, to um, the dog, and the dog started healing. And, and it, this is this is what the ma- amazing thing about the Trivedi effect is that um, connecting we, we we connect to our divine, um, the God of our understanding, and we are able we send energy to the pet, and it's like the energy has its own intelligence; it knows what to do. So because, well, if you think about it, that makes perfect sense because if it's life force energy or energy from the creator, the God of your understanding, 
Uh, and if you believe in God as the creator of all things, then it would be, know exactly what to do. And I think that's what's so interesting about animals and pets is because unlike a human being, they, they don't have any resistance to, to anything. The, if, if, you know, they receive it. And so, like you said, the energy can go to work for the highest and best. And I think that with my experience with the Trivedi effect, um, and you can confirm this, I believe, is that it does work on in your life or on your body or your spirit in your highest and best or for your highest and best even if you might be thinking you need something else, the energy works on whatever is right for you at that moment in time for the long run, for your highest and best. Um, mm -hmm. it, that's how it seems to me, because I know that sometimes as a human being, um, we might <clears throat> be thinking, oh, I need more money or I need more of this or that or the other thing. And maybe what you get is, like you said, peace of mind, or you get a calmness so that you can think more clearly, so that you, if you need money, then you can think of ways to create money because you're calm about it and you're not freaking out about the lacks in your life. And I think that's one of the most powerful things about being connected to life force energy is that you do have this sense of protection. And I think like you said earlier, it helps with that anxiety or fear of the future because then you're not worried about the what ifs and the fear of the future because you're calm in the now and you're able to see things in a, in a much clearer way. Is that, has that been part of your experience? It is. Um, when you have been, I've been part of the group seriously doing like um, part of the healer since to the end of 2012. Um, so I've been in it for a while. Um, I noticed with myself I'm calmer. Um, and and with, with that, you... Your connection to God when you've been doing this work for a while, your connection to God, you realize your connection to God. Um, I can be sitting at work um, and I can just feel the energy of the divine coming into me. And, just, and it's a very nice, calming experience and a really wonderful way to take a break. Yes, it would be. It's probably the most powerful break you could get. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's very true. Um, I also one of the things I also wanted to bring up too is with this energy, um, you're calm. You you have no fear of the future, um, and it, there's also that. Um, what is it? Um, I want to say the um, it helps. I can't think of this. this isn't, it has trickle down effect. Ripple effect, uh huh. The ripple, yeah, trickle down, ripple effect. And I notice I've heard people, and I believe you've had one issue, a situation where it helped when you started getting um, energy transmissions that it helped you um, and your family. Yes. What I noticed about the Tribeti effect and energy transmissions is that um, as your life improves or you have the positive energy, you seem to radiate it out and other people in your life seem to be affected in a positive way. It, if you think about energy, um, if you've ever been in a situation with angry energy, because most of us can feel that even if we're not sensitive, when people are angry, it's all of a sudden, like, let's say that um, it, children especially, let's say that mom's mad at dad, and all of a sudden the kids are acting up. because You know, they're screaming and crying 
for no reason, well, they're reacting to that angry energy. And, and with the ripple effect, the same thing happens. The love energy or the positive energy, you know, if, if, good, if mom is feeling good and it ripples over, you know, dad's feeling good and then the children are all happy because it's all that love, positive energy. So that, that is a really, um, I think, a, a contrasting example where you could, if you were just looking for like a real life example, um, I, I can really see that. And then also, you know, for example, you know, so I've heard different people say, well, um, I was receiving the energy and my child um, got a scholarship to college or my child got a job or my friend got a job, you know, di different things where other people good things started to happen to, to other people when before maybe things were kind of stagnant for them. So th that's the beauty of it, I think, is that it's just such a, a positive energy. And like you said, it, it's if, if you're connected to the God of your understanding, what really would you have to be anxious about or fearful about? If, if you are, you know, as they say in the palm of God's hand um, and you're protected by the God of your understanding or life force or nature, the creator, whatever you want to call it, it's like, really, why would you have to worry or be afraid of anything? Because you know that you are um, protected and everything's going to be okay. So I think that is the beauty of the Trivedi effect and life force energy. So you work with people with this energy. So I take it then not only do you work with humans, you also work with agriculture and uh, pets. Is that right? Uh, yes. I know I have participated. Um, we did... In the a couple of years back, we participated in doing our own seeds, um, plant taking seeds in our hands, and Guruji told us to bless it. Um, we had a control group where they weren't blessed, and then we had seeds that were part part that we blessed, and then we planted them in you know two different air pots, and we um, waited in and basically pulled up the plants after um, maybe 15 days, 10 or 15 days. And you notice with the, the plants that the plants that had been blessed had really strong root systems. And so that's basically like laying a foundation for that plant to be able to go into the soil and you know, lay down deep roots, and ba basically, with a little, the smaller roots, can offshoot roots, can off of the main root, going and, and being able to pick up the nutrients, um, f extract the nutrients from the soil, which makes for a healthier plant. Yeah, that that would be pretty phenomenal um, evidence. I've heard several stories about. Um, the Trivedi effect and plants and chickens and cows and like you said the cashews and um, mango trees and, and different plants like what you said where the where the the plants root system was much stronger and the overall plants were just healthier in general and then of course what you were saying about the the animal or the pets and most people who talk about their pets, um, they report back that the pets um, act calmer and, you know, they have, they, there seems to be, no matter what, a calming effect on living things um, mm -hmm. and, and a positive calming effect. So, Eileen, so everybody, if they want to contact you, they can go to, to EileenSeeley.com. Check out the science. Check out testimonials. Um, there's some blogs there. Um, very nice website. And, of course, you can contact Eileen directly and talk to her more about um, what you might want to know about 
uh, life force energy healing and that gift um, that Eileen has with connecting you with the God of your understanding. So uh, thank you so much, Eileen. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today. And thank you for, I appreciate you, Tammy, for having me, um, letting me talk to you. It was a lot. I really enjoyed it very much. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Eileen. I'll talk to you soon. To you and I, yes, I hope to talk to you so, soon to also. Take care. This is Tammy Patzer. Go make it a beautiful day. You've been listening to today's top health and wellness innovators and thought leaders on Optimal Health Radio. To get more solid health and wellness information, visit OptimalHealthRadio.com. 